All right, guys, welcome back to WDYD CSP with the You Do as a Central Stove Processor. All right, guys, we've just cleaned a T probe and decon. It is time to show you the next step in the process, which is high level disinfection. Okay, because we can't sterilize this item according to the IFU, high level disinfection is the minimum process that we're doing, and we're doing this automated in the Astra TE unit. All right, so what is going to be needed? to high level disinfect this device well first safety first we want to go ahead and put on some goggles and we're going to put on a fresh pair of gloves here to handle the device that was just cleaned it has not been disinfected except for the cord which is low level disinfected um, but again safety first you want to handle it with gloves at all times okay of course you want to perform hand hygiene prior to putting gloves on um, but it is also important that your hands are dry prior to donning gloves because it just makes it a lot easier right all right so let's follow the instructions of this specific automated device here um, again each device has different instructions so follow the training and education that was handed to you for the specific unit that you are using this one here is very simple it just says hit enter scan the probe and next tells you to insert the probe and the only part of the probe that we're inserting into this unit is the actual insertion tube because that is what um, contacts the patient. This is the portion of the device that contacts mucous membrane that requires high level disinfection. The handle is uh, firmly sat on the actual holder there. Um, it asks for patient ID. Um, if patient ID is available, you're going to scan that. If it's not, you're going to go ahead and hit enter. It gives you an option of doing a second probe. I do not have a second probe to do at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and close the door. It asks me to scan my ID to confirm that I am the one who is doing this process. We're going to go ahead and scan my uh ID and unfortunately I scanned it a second time when it asked me to scan the TS bottle which is the test strip bottles and my ID is not the test strip bottle. This is the test strip bottle. We're going to go ahead and scan it and it's filling the chamber with high level disinfection. At this point is when the high level disinfection timer starts. 12 minutes of disinfection. Once that chamber is filled with disinfection, the timer starts 12 minutes. Okay, so it is a 12 minute process regardless of what it says once you go through the uh, options there. You wanna go ahead and you wanna connect the connector block onto the wall unit here because these devices require electronic leak testing. And I apologize for me fumbling because I'm trying to do this with one hand while recording. All right, so I have my MEC strip there. Of course, make sure you close that bottle within 30 minutes to avoid damaging the test strips. You're going to submerge the test strip for one second as indicated by the IFU of the test strip bottle. We're going to get rid of the old test strip because I actually did a probe right next to it. I don't know if you guys seen this in the video. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit start. I'm going to close the door now. And I have 90 seconds to read that test strip. At this point, I don't want to be unproductive. I want to be productive. So this is the time to test your TE probe, uh, at least test your TE probe. So you're going to insert, depending on which uh, tester you use, insert your conductivity probe. You're going to turn the unit on and ensure that it is set for the manufacturer of the device and then hit full test here. Okay. Ensure that the probe is submerged completely, that the connector block is on the wall. It's going to go ahead and do its reading for four variables that it needs to test and then give you a result. There's my result, which is a passing test. And then I have a few seconds left for my MRC MEC reading. I'm going to go ahead and grab my TS bottle and compare my test strip to the back of the bottle. Okay, full purple is a full pass, no blotches of blue or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and document my result. So arrow to the left is pass. It asks for the results of the leak test, which passed as well. And now there is 10 minutes left for disinfection. Okay, and this is again a 12 minute process from beginning to end. As soon as the chamber fills with disinfectant, that timer starts. 
All right. You want to make sure that everything is connected and that you do not move this probe in order to uh, not cause a fault okay you don't want to cause a fault in this process now as you can see this has successfully passed the cycle all right so nothing interrupted it the mec was good the solution was good the rinse was good the water quality etc etc we now want to get this probe out and transport it to storage or points of use okay you're going to grab the container that you're going to use and you're going to go ahead and you're going to scan your tag there so you're going to have your tags ready i have some disinfectant wipes ready and i have some sterile towels ready you want again you want to don a fresh pair of gloves here do not use the same gloves that you started this process with to remove this probe you want a fresh pair of gloves here because this is a disinfected probe now Okay, we want to have a sterile towel to line our basket or our container. Okay, and again, this is outlined in the IFU of the device. Okay, whichever container unit you're going to use, um, this is how you're going to go ahead and set this up. All right, this is a portion of the IFU. Um, this is a portion of the process that is not in the IFU. And I believe that at this point, we should be disinfecting the uh, connector block all the way down to the insertion tube um, uh, uh, spacer um, at this point. Because again, we've handled this device. This device was sent from decontamination. And although this process was done there, people are touching it with the same gloves that they're decontaminating items with. So you want to go ahead and disinfect this one last time because you don't know how long it sat on the window, how many people touched it. So this is probably a good practice to disinfect the actual cord one last time here. Okay. And as you can see, I'm disinfecting the cord. I'm disinfecting the handle and wrapping it up at the same time here. Okay. You're disinfecting all the areas all the way up into the insertion tube collar there. Okay. Then I'm going to use another sterile towel to dry off the insertion tube. Okay. Because the unit does rinse. You're going to go ahead and dry off and protect the distal tip there. And unfortunately, I'm not showing you how I'm placing this in the container. I apologize because I had no one to videotape this for me. But we're going to go ahead and place this in the container, wrap it up neatly. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the actual uh, distal tip as shown there. Your connector cable is right there on the side there, nicely uh, coiled. Then we're going to put some information on here. The information that's required is how long your facility practices storage. Okay, whatever time that is, you want to put a hang tag on the actual device. And then we also like to put a tip protector on the actual um, distal portion of the insertion tube. So there's your tip protector on the distal portion there to protect the actual ceramic eyeglass wear information. On the tag there, we're going to connect that to the actual cord or handle part. And again, I'm going to try and do this single handedly. Again, I apologize because this is the way I'm recording. So let's see how good I do with this. Hey, not bad. Not bad. OK, not bad. OK, you see the one handed skills there. All right. We're going to put the hang tag on there. And then last and finally, we want to place a dust cover on there. Put the information um, from the scan tag there and of course you're going to have the uh, little signage there that states the item is clean and not sterile okay so ensure everything is neatly placed away all that your disposables are thrown in the trash and this is how you process a te probe with high level disinfection peace guys